Hey everybody, McKnight here, and in today's Mars Horizon base video, we're looking at Japan, which I personally think is the prettiest base. Let's go. Just before we get into the video, don't forget to like it. It helps uh, the video in the algorithm, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and there'll be a link in the description to my Twitch if you want to see me play some games live. So this is the layout for Japan. And again, I struggled with this one, but not in the way that I did with Isa. This was just, um, I was kind of undecisive because there's no um, obstacles in the way, but it does have this sticky out bit, which is surprisingly nice for the large launch pad. Um, and the reason I struggled mostly was trying to put the sound suppression so it was next to the large launch pad and the medium launch pad as well as the contractor's office. Um, so, but it, it was a good little challenge, this. So from here, we've kind of got this almost line from the HQ downwards is the engineering. Um, I mentioned about um, um, ESA trying to get the, the space plane runway in there. I said it was build time reduction, but I got that wrong. It's actually a vehicle build cost reduction if it's next to the aeronautics. So, uh, but we have got that here because we have got the luxury of having no obstacles. Um, but it does leave kind of gaps like this. So there is various things you could put in there like um, another mission control expansion. Um, but this is my, this is easily my favorite, favorite um, base layout. So in this bottom corner, we've got um, sort of the research labs for reducing the build cost and the build time. So there's plenty of build time reduction with the aeronautics and the vehicle assembly building's got plenty of time reductions. Um, mobile launch pad has the vehicle hangar, contractor's office. Um, the diplomacy office was just kind of put in because I like to challenge myself and try and put every single um, building in if I can. And it's one of those that I try to eke out every little bonus I can. So... Um, it kind of it kind of got just placed there it's not ideally it wants to be up here if you can kind of fit it in but with that hall of fame being slightly longer than the other buildings it was it was a little bit tricky the vehicle assembly facility has got plenty of uh, cost reduction and time reductions um, the centrifugal training that does some science with the docking training it's a nice little handy place to put that i like these little two by two squares they're nice little fillers especially if you can get it to have a bonus as well so up in this section we've got um, all the other bonuses that we can get so i looked into getting support so we can get extra f hopefully take us to that next uh, tier for the the monthly funding the conference center was put there just because it's it was about the best rewards I could possibly get with it. Um, we've got uh, minus payload costs there. Um, we've got some 5% supports there. Some more support bonuses there. Uh, some science there. The Hall of Fame gives us some support bonuses. Launch reliability. More science. This is the, the main hub, if you like, for science and reliability. Um, there's not a whole lot going on in terms it's more support and um, just try and get that extra little bit of funding so from this we got a minus 34 percent build time reduction which was not as good as nasa which was 36 but uh, it's definitely up there and then we got a minus 29 percent um that looks like the olympic torch um <laughs> sorry this is my um like uh custom agency playthrough um, and I've never seen that uh, that payload before. Anyway, we got a minus 29% um, payload reduction cost there, which um, is pretty handy. Which if you're wondering um, why it's called the Midland Launch Complex, I live um, near the National Space Centre in Leicester. Only I totally forgot it was called the National Space Centre. And I, I, I had a mental blank, so I just thought I, Midland Space Centre for some reason, but... I went with that, so that's why it's called that. Anyway, let's just go now, go through the um, the buildings in what order their positions. So we've got the large launch pad here. 
uh, Robotics Research Center, Aeronautics Research Lab, Vehicle Assembly Building, Contractor's Office, Water Sound Suppression, Medium Launch Pad, Diplomacy Office Way Out on its Lonesome, Small Launch Pad, Spacecraft Assembly Facility, Vehicle Hangar, Mobile Launch Platform, Space Plane Runway, Space Science Library, HQ, Rocket Test Pad, Backup Power Generator, Centrifuge Training, kind of on its own, but not like, not like the Diplomacy Office. Then up the top here, we've got Docking Training Facility, Deep Space Network, the Visitor Center, Research Lab, PR Office, Conference Center, Astronaut Training Facility, Mission Control, Neutral Buoyancy Lab, and the Hall of Fame. So there we go. Let me know in the comments if you've uh, had a different layout, how you went with your design, what you prioritized, and yeah, let's exchange some space secrets. So that was a Japanese base. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you picked up a few uh, tips there. And if you did like the video, don't forget to like it. It helps the channel. And subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget the link in the, the description to my Twitch if you want to see me play some stuff live. And have a good rest of your day.